Hey guys, all right, today I have another reformer workout for you. This workout today is for all levels, okay? So not overly challenging, not too easy, it's not a beginner level workout, but it is all levels. So I will be um, giving some modifications throughout the workout just so everybody is taken care of, okay? Props today. You are gonna need a ring, magic circle, whatever you like to call it. Um, mine's pink. <laughs> so um, mine is not super large, it's on the smaller end. Um, and there are different sizes of rings. I forget the actual inches of this ring. But uh, towards the end of the workout, we are going to be putting this ring around our outer thighs. So we're going to be slipping it over our legs. If your ring is small and that's super uncomfortable, I am going to be giving a modification. So don't worry when we get there, I will walk you through that. You are also going to need your reformer box. Okay, so we're going to be using the box short box style. So horizontal on the reformer, not long box style. Okay, and that's going to be for the second half of class. We are starting out with the jump board. The jump board's gonna be our warm up this morning, so if you have your jump board, stick that up in there. Um, if you don't have your jump board, you can mimic the movements I'm doing with your foot bar, okay? You just wanna load your springs pretty heavy for foot bar and footwork, okay? Right now, I am starting on a blue and yellow spring. I do have a yellow spring on my balance body reformer because I switched that out when I uh, bought the reformer. If you don't have a yellow spring, I would work with one red, okay? Um, and let's get started. This workout should be just under an hour, all right? So we're gonna lie all the way down on our back, head between those shoulder blocks, feet are on that jump board, arms are long by your side. So right away, before we do anything else, I want you to find a position where the soles of the feet are nice and flat on the jump board. And I'm gonna walk you through getting those soles down every time you land your jumps. You've got a neutral spine position. So go ahead and press yourself all the way out to two straight legs. My legs are about four inches apart and parallel, so that means my toes are shining up. I've got a neutral spine, so those hip bones, those ASIS bones, they're pointed straight up towards the ceiling. I want you to think about a neutral spine so I'm not pressing my low back into the carriage, which would look like this, all right? Now the tailbone, or the, um, hip bones just rolled back, okay, into a posterior tilt. We don't want that. So let's not press our low back and let's just find that neutral spine. Pull that belly button up and in so we have an active and engaged core and our ribs are closed, okay? Now my headrest is down. I'm actually gonna lift it uh, just a bit because I have a, a big um, arc in my, the back of my neck. So I'm gonna keep that headrest up and now from this position, keeping those arms long by your side, we're gonna exhale as we bend both knees. Inhale, take it out for a little hop. Good, so nice and smooth. Now, on these jumps, yes, your heart rate will get up, okay, so it's meant to warm up the body, but I want you to find a full foot connection every time you land. So you're not letting your heels stay up and just landing on the balls of your feet like this. No, we wanna get the heels down, okay? So that's gonna change how much you might be bending your knees, okay? The deeper bend may not be possible if you want that heel to stay down, right? So I want you to find a place where you get a nice bend in the knee, but the heel can stay landed, landing down on that jump board, okay? Now as we leave the jump board, I'm pointing those toes and I'm reaching for length on the front of the body. Okay, pulling that belly button up and in, inhaling out for length, exhaling as I land. Okay, every time on my inhale, that diaphragm drops, we elongate through the core, and then exhale, everything comes back to start. When everything comes back to start, I want you to think about pulling up that pelvic floor. Good, you're staying right here. Good, we're gonna switch into first position in six. Good, last five. Good, you've got four. My breath gets all screwed up when I teach you guys, so don't watch me for my breathing, but follow my cues. Last two. Good, now we're gonna bring those feet into first position. So that's heels together, toes turned out, okay? It's not a real big V, okay? But just a little V, a little baby V with those feet. As you leave the jump board, I want you to think about zipping up the inner thighs. Zip them up, glue those inner thighs together. Good, now remember we're working on one blue, one yellow spring. 
Okay, so a light and an extra light. If you don't have a, a yellow spring, you're working with one red. Good, and we're keeping the composure through the pelvis. Okay, that neutral spine. Hip bones pointing straight up to the ceiling. Engage that core, close those ribs. Good. Let's stay here. Body's getting warm, you're here for six. We're gonna alternate between a wide second and first position in five. Good, last four. You've got three. Last two. Okay, now from here, we're gonna go wide second with the feet, back to first. Wide second, back to first. Okay, so my feet are going wide. They stay turned out at that 45 degree angle. Okay, and then they come in, they stay at that 45 degree angle and we glue those heels together to land. Good, heels touching down every time, every time. So really fight for that in your body. Now, this is not something where that reformer should be hitting the back, or the carriage should be hitting the back of the reformer. Okay, we wanna find control. I want you to think about your breath taking that carriage out, not a shove through your legs. I know your legs are strong. I want your core to be strong. Okay, so both are, those legs are working regardless. I want you to work from the center of your body. Keep pulling that belly button up and in. Good, you've got six more. We're gonna stay wide second in five. Good, you've got four. Last three. Good, you've got two. Good, last one. On your next one, you're gonna stay in that wide second. Wide second position, toes are angled out at a 45 degree angle. Good, inner thighs, they shine a little bit more towards the ceiling. Good, point those toes, extend those legs. So I want you to find full extension through that knee joint. We don't wanna hold bent or sloppy legs in the air. Core is forced to hold those legs up in midair. So tighten that belly button up and in. We don't wanna overarch the back. Good, but we don't have a ton of hang time here, so there's lots of control. You should be able to have control for that short amount of time that we are in air. Good, stay here. You're here for six. We're gonna add a knee pull, and that'll be the last part of our jump sequence. In five, good, last four. Good, you've got three. Heels landing down, last two. Good, now on the next one, you're gonna add a knee pull. So knees are gonna pull in and out to land. So it's a quicker movement. I still want you to focus on getting the heels down. Okay, so this is a lot more challenging, but I want you to put your concentration into getting those legs out before you land. So get them to be out before you land on that jump board, nice and long. Good, stay here, so a lot quicker movement. You're here for six. Good, last five. Good, four. Last three, keep that belly button up and in. Last two. And one more. And bring it all the way in, guys. Go ahead, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a moment, take a couple deep breaths. Good, and now we're gonna come on up. Now, uh, let's take the jump board away because you're not gonna need it throughout all of class and I'd rather it not be there. Um, so you have to deal with it later. So let's just take it off. Put right there. Hopefully, you know what, let's set it over here so it doesn't fall. All right, now, your springs are gonna stay on that one blue and one yellow spring. If you don't have the blue or have the yellow, you have that one red spring. Grab your ring. I'm gonna move my foot bar back up to that normal position, okay? And now I'm gonna lay back down. Now, the ring is gonna to come to my chest. We're gonna work on legs in straps with this ring. 
So first you're going to grab those loops and you're going to put those long loops around your feet. So one foot at a time, long loops come around the feet. Ring is going to go between your ankles. Okay, so right above the bones of your ankle is where you want that ring. Now this is a really, we're going to be here a while in this position. If the ring drops into the springs, take a moment and reset, okay? Your tailbone in class, I would normally get it for you. So just take a moment and grab that ring. It, a lot of times it does fall out between the legs. Tailbone is heavy, so let's find that neutral spine position again. Let's bring those feet directly up over the hips. Now, you'll notice my feet are not directly over my hips like this because what happened when I did that was my tailbone peeled off the carriage. We don't want the tailbone to peel off the carriage, so I'm going to roll my tailbone back down so it's glued. My hip bones now shine straight up. My legs are a little bit at an angle, but that's my start position in my body. So I want you to find that in your body before we move on because that start position is critical. Belly buttons pulled up and in, natural curve in the low back, arms are going to be long and low by your side. We're going to start with a hinge. So with a slight imprinting on the ring from the inner thigh, we're going to exhale, bring those legs down to a 45 degree angle, and then bring them back to start. Good. Bring it down to the 45, nice simple hinge, and back up to start. Start is your neutral position. Watch those hip bones. Good. So if you want to start this sequence by just keeping a light hold on those ASIS bones, those bony landmarks in your hips, that will get you into where you can feel it in your own body where they should be. Sometimes that takes a while to feel that in your own body. Good. So your breath. Exhale up here. Inhale down for length. Exhale back to start. Inhale down for length. So my legs are already starting to shake. I've got my legs in parallel right now, so all ten toes are shining up. We're going to go four more here, and then we're going to hold that 45 degree angle. Good. Last three. Good, last two, moving nice and slow, not fast here. Good, one more and hold. So you're gonna hold that 45 degree angle now. Now, my legs are gonna go internal back to parallel. So it's gonna look like this. Legs swivel and back to parallel. Internal, back to parallel. So it's an internal rotation from the top of the hip. So that femur bone, Okay, it swivels in the pelvis to get those legs to rotate the entire leg from the top, top of the leg. Okay, so I don't want you to think just about the ankles and the knees because then that's what I see. Right, I want you to think about the whole leg rotating and coming back to parallel. Whole leg back to parallel. So the whole leg, it's like a skewer. Okay, we got four more here and then we're going to swivel into external rotation. Good. Last two. So we're holding this 45 degree angle. Good. Watch that low back. Make sure it's not overarching. Now holding parallel, we're going to go external. So legs are going to turn out and back in. Out and back in. So those inner thighs, they shine up towards the ceiling and then they come back. Whole leg rotates. Not just the ankle or the toes. Good. My feet are not moving by themselves. It is the entire leg swiveling from the top of the hip. Good. Core is tight. Belly button is up and in. Those ribs are closed. Your legs should feel shaky. Those inner thighs, they are going to feel it here. Good. You're here for four more. Good. Last three. Good. We're going to do some knee bends in two. One more here. Good. Now swivel back to parallel. Now hold parallel. And now my knees are going to bend like I'm sitting in a chair. So the knees bend in. Stop them over your hip, not over your belly button. I don't want them to be here because now my tailbone lifted. My knees are over my hips. And then I send them back out. My knees come in. They stop over my hips. My femur bone sinks into that socket. 
and then I send my legs back out. My feet are flexed, okay? I've got a light hold on that ring. Does not need to be hard because those inner thighs are working really hard to just stabilize and keep that ring in place. You don't need to squeeze it. Now my knees, as I bend those knees in, I'm keeping my legs in parallel so my knees are tracking with my big second toe. So you want to watch that alignment right there. Good. Full extension of the leg as you send that ring out. So I want you to fully open up the back of the knee. Good. Core is tight. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend them in. Inhale, extend. Let's go four more. Good. Last three. Last two. Good. Let's go one more. Now on your next one, you're going to hold the knees bent. Okay, they're in that bent position, kneecaps over hip. Here we go. From the back of the leg, heels go one inch out and one inch back in. Out, in, out, in. Now I want you to focus all of your attention on the back of your leg. So right where the glute meets the hamstring, that little gland line, that's where we're sending that ring out from, from right there. So I want you to focus all of your movement, all of your intentional movement, right there. Good. I don't want you to think about your feet. I don't want you to think about your knees. I want you to think about right there. Good. Let's go six more. Core is nice and tight. That's a given, right? Core is engaged. Good. Shaky, shaky. If you think about where the movement should come from, you should be shaking. You're here for four. Good. Last three. Good. Last two. Good. On the next one, we're going to take those legs all the way long. And now those hands, actually, let's keep those hands in front of us. Those hands are going to come out in front of us, and we're going to take a little ab curl. So we're going to exhale, curl, peel the shoulder blades up, and then inhale back down. Exhale, curl, keep the chin away from the chest, and come back down. Curl and lift. We're going to come back down. We're going to hold this curl, but we've got six more to go. Okay, so we're here for six. Good. Hold that 45 degree angle. Five. Good. That's four. Good. You've got three. Last two. Good. One more we're going to hold. So ab curl it up, those shoulder blades are off the carriage. My palms are going to turn outbound on those ropes. And now, holding the ring, we're going to press out on the ropes. Don't drop the ring. Don't drop the ring. Okay? Press out on those ropes. Can you get a little deeper in that ab curl? Pull those ribs together. Belly button up and in. Can you recruit that pelvic floor as you pull that belly button up and in? Good, you've got six. We're here for five. Good, last four. Good, three. Two. Good, last thing. We're going to roll it back down. And now we're just going to squeeze the ring. Squeeze the ring. Inner thighs. Squeeze that ring. So I don't want you to think about the ankles squeezing the ring. I want you to come all the way up to the low belly and those inner thighs. The squeeze is coming from there. Good. Hold it tight. Good. You've got six. Last five. We're here for four. Last three. You've got two. And bring it all the way in. Woo! Take out that ring. I'm happy it didn't fall while I was on camera with you guys. You're going to keep your ring, but just set it down on your box next to you and take those straps off your feet. We're going to hang them up behind you, and we're going to come into a torso rotation with that ring. But before we do that, we're going to change our springs down to one yellow. So if you've got that blue and yellow, take it down to one yellow. If you've been on that red, take it down to a blue, okay? So with the blue, if you need to take breaks, watch how aggressive it feels in your body, because the last thing I want you to do is muscle through it. If you are on one blue spring, you're going to be as close to the shoulder blocks as you can be. 
Okay, if you are on a yellow, you can kind of play with your placement. The further away from the shoulder blocks you are, the more aggressive it'll feel in your body. So on one yellow, we have some room to play a little bit. Grab your ring. Okay, we're gonna be in a high kneeling position. So, my knees are about four inches apart parallel. That ring is gonna come to the solar plexus, so right at the base of the ribs. I'm gonna encircle the ring with my hands, but my right hand is gonna take that long loop, and I'm gonna loop it around the outer squishy pad. Okay, so it's just around the outer squishy pad. I've got a nice hold, and now I'm going to get that ring so it's right center. Both squishy pads are centered at my body. From here, we're going to rotate through the waistline. So staying nice and tall with sternum over pubic bone, we're going to pull the belly button up and in, and we're going to inhale as we rotate towards the foot bar. My hips don't move, and then I'm going to exhale back through center. I'm going to inhale as I rotate towards the foot bar, and I'm going to exhale back to center. So it's a nice, small movement, okay, it's not big. So the first thing I see with this, move, this exercise is I see this, and then they come back, and then I see this, okay? That's not, that's not what I want to see here. So I want you to focus, okay, on keeping the ring center. Your head, neck, and shoulders don't drive this movement, it's coming from your waist. So I want you to inhale into a rotation from the waist. Keep the hips quiet. It's smaller than you think. And then exhale back to start. Inhale, rotate. Keep it to the rib basket. Okay, those ribs are rotating. That inhale breath helps give space to the vertebrae so that you can get more length as you twist. Good, so you can think of a barbershop pole. And as you spin, or as you twist, you get taller in your twist. Good, now if your booty is clenching, which mine just was, I want you to release that. I want you to think about those inner thighs magnetizing towards one another. That's gonna incorporate the low belly into this. Good, let's go four more rotations here. Good, last three. Now these will get deeper over time the more you do them. Last two. When I first started doing these, it felt like I wasn't even moving. So keep with it because they do get deeper and you get more rotation. Good, let's go one more. Good, and bring it all the way back. Now, we're gonna keep that long loop, but we're gonna come into a low kneeling position, okay? Now I've got both squishy pants, uh, squishy pads of the ring. Um, on the both inner side of my palm, okay? I've got a light little low kneeling position where I'm hovering over my heels. Let's bring that ring up over your head like a halo, and now we're gonna lift and lower this ring like a top hat. So staying with that sternum over pubic bone, we're gonna inhale, lift up into a high kneel, arms go up, exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bring it down. Now you can play with this. If you're on one blue, keep that long loop. But if you're on one yellow and you feel like you need a little bit more tension, you can use that short loop. Okay, and that's going to give you more tension through the right side body. So having to stabilize right there is much harder. Good. Remember how close you are to the shoulder blocks affects this movement. So closer to the shoulder blocks, less aggressive. Further away, more aggressive. It's more, more to pull. Good. We're going to add a side bend here. So on the next time you rise up, we're going to side bend towards the foot bar. Come back, lower it down. Good. Lift it up. Side bend, come back, and lower it down. Good, so you're bending towards the foot bar. Okay, that's my left, to my left. Good, lower it down. Find nice control here. Keep those hips pointed forward. Good, let's go four more. Inhale up, over, good. We've got three. Now if you notice, my elbows are staying soft because if I was to fully extend them, I would lose this and I would get into my back. And I'm trying to keep it into my waistline. 
keeping that core engaged. Good, let's go one more. Up, side bend, back, and down. So good, all right. Now, we're gonna go into some tricep work. I just wanna make sure I didn't forget anything. So set your ring down. Stay on that one yellow spring if you're on the blue, great. Okay, now, we're gonna be, I'm gonna drop my headrest. You're gonna be all the way over to the left side of your machine, rear facing. Your right hand is gonna to come to your headrest, and your left hand is gonna choke up on that rope. So I'm not holding the short loop or the long loop. I'm choking up on that metal piece, or if you have a knot here, to choke up on the knot. Now, if you're on a blue, you might want to hold that short loop, okay, so I give you a little bit more room uh, to pull. So, my left arm is going to come long and low by my side, straight down from the shoulder, okay, holding a four-point kneel, which means my shins are heavy, my knees are four inches apart, and my right hand is flat on that headrest. I'm going to pull the belly button up and in, and I'm going to inhale as I sweep that left arm back and then bring it long and low. Keeping the arm straight, elbow soft, I'm bringing that arm up and back. So my shoulders are square to the carriage. Okay, I'm keeping my weight center. So both shins are heavy, not just my left shin, not just my right shin, both are heavy. Pull that belly button up and in. So that core is engaged, you're gonna feel that left waistline help bring that rope back. Good, contracting the tricep at the top of the movement, so you find that little pause at the top before you release. Inhale up, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, get some length. Inhale, bring it down. I'm sorry, exhale, bring it down. Good, let's go four more. We're gonna hold this left arm up and back. Good, last three. Good, you've got two more. Good. Last one. Good, now we're gonna sweep it up and back and we're gonna hold it up there. So it's gonna come up and back and there it stays. Now my elbow's gonna bend and I'm gonna extend. Little tricep kick back. Good, keep that elbow high. Keep it close to your body. Find control by pulling that belly button up and in. Recommit to weight, your weight being centered. Good, let's go six more here. You got it. Last five, small little muscle right back there. Good, last four. Good, stay lifted between those shoulder blades. Last three. Good, you've got two. Good, and last one. And bring it all the way down, guys. So good, hook up those straps, or hook up that strap. Okay, and now we're gonna come into some upper body work rear facing. All right, so we're gonna start with chest expansion. You're gonna stay on that one yellow spring. If you're on a blue, that's fine, okay? So I'm gonna grab my short loops because I'm on that one yellow spring. If you are on the blue, I would maybe try your long loops, but you can see how that feels in your body. Okay, so we're going to be in a high kneeling position to start. We're starting with chest expansion. So, remember, the closer you are to the shoulder blocks, the less aggressive. You can scoop back to where those feet or your ankles are right at the edge of the reformer. Okay, that's the spot that I'm liking today. So, my arms are long and low by my side. They are starting right at my side body. I'm going to wrap those shoulder blades down and around the ribs. Close the ribs up and pull that belly button up and in. Now, this is start right here. We're going to keep the sternum over the pubic bone, okay? Right from here, we're going to inhale those arms back, and then we're going to exhale as we stop them at the side body. Inhale, bring them back. Exhale, back to side body. They do not come in front of you, okay, because then the shoulder takes over. We're going to keep it in the core. So inhale back, and of course that shoulder is working. Yes, it is. But I want you to keep the core engaged. So every time you bring those arms back, let's tighten that belly button up and in. And bring it back. So try and exhale here. Exhale, bring those arms back. Pull that belly button up and in. Recruit the pelvic floor. And then inhale on your return. 
Exhale, pull that belly button up and in. Recruit the pelvic floor, so pull that pelvic floor up. I get a lot more shape that way. Exhale, pull it up. Good, inhale back. Good, bring it back. Good, and then release. Good, exhale, pull everything up and in. Good, let's go four more. Then we're gonna hold those arms back. Good, last three. Good, you've got two. Those arms are definitely shaking. You probably can't see it on camera, but I can feel it. Good, you guys, inhale back. On this next one, you're gonna hold those arms back. Hold it right there at your full range of motion. Now from here, we're gonna lean. So keeping the sternum over the pubic bone, we're gonna lean. Nice little thigh stretch here. Keep those arms back. Find your shake. And then come all the way back to start. Good, hold those arms back here. Don't let them go. Reach, reach, reach. How much length can you find out the crown of the head? All the way from those kneecaps. And come all the way back. Let's go four more. Hold those arms back there. Don't let it go. Pull that belly button up and in. Find length on the front of the body. Good. Last three. I think we got three. Good, you guys. Two more. Two more. I know these are shaky, but stay with it. Embrace that shake here. Good. We're going to go one more. Inhale. Find length. And bring it all the way back up and bring those arms in. Whew. Okay. Take out those shoulders a minute. Roll them out. We're going to cross our straps. Okay, so my left hand is going to take my right strap, and my right hand is going to take my left strap. I'm going to bring my hands into the short loops. Okay, so the short loops, I've got my four fingers inside, thumbs on the outside. Those elbows are going to come right by my waist. We're going to keep the sternum over the pubic bone. Okay, so same alignment. My arms are going to open like saloon doors, okay? So from here, same start position. We're going to inhale, open up those doors. Exhale, bring it back. Now, on one blue spring, the short loops are going to feel real good right here. If this feels a little too light, you can show ropes. So elbows to waistline. Same thing, keeping your wrists in line with the rest of your arm. You're going to open up those doors and bring it all the way back to start. Open those doors, keep the uh, elbows by the waist, and then bring it back to start. Close the doors. Open the doors, close the doors. Now, don't clench the booty, okay? That's a natural go-to to stabilize, allowing that glute to stabilize for you. I want you to think about the core. So, those inner thighs are magnetizing towards one another. So even though they're separated, I want you to think about pulling them together in your mind. Don't actually do it. Okay, now pull up that pelvic floor and that low belly is engaged. Good. Let's go six more here. We're gonna hold it open in five more. Good. Last uh, four. Good. Keep those shoulder blades down and around the ribs. Shoulders are away from your ears. Good. We've got three. Holding those arms open in two. Good. On your next one, arms stay open. Those doors stay open. And now we're going to just deepen that range of motion. So we're just going to go a little further. A little further. You may not move at all. You may move a quarter of an inch. But it's not going to be much more than that. I want you to think about rotating from the top of the shoulder. Okay, so it's that humerus bone in that shoulder socket. Okay, just like that other ball and socket joint, the femur bone at the hip. So we want lots of mobility here. Good, we've got four. Last three, belly button up and in. Last two. And give me one more. And bring it all the way back, guys. Woo, shoulder got that one. Okay, we're gonna go bicep curls now. So staying in that high kneeling position. If high kneeling is getting uncomfortable for you, you can always come into a low kneel. But in that low kneeling position, I want you to sit. Okay, you're gonna hover 
over booty, over heels. Okay, so you're going to have that little hover. Bicep curls. For one yellow spring, my hands are nice and comfortable in those short loops. Okay, so those arms are going to come straight off the shoulder. I'm going to relax the booty, magnetize those inner thighs, pull that belly button up and in. Now, holding the arms like this, this is a start. We're going to curl from here. So, curl, bend at the elbow, try not to lean back. And then inhale, release. Exhale, curl, pull that belly button up and in. So that strong core is going to help you from leaning back. I don't want you to lean back on this one. So fight the urge to lean back. It's a really easy one to lean back on and be back here and get this, okay? We want to stay tall. Keep that sternum over your pubic bone. Okay, that's going to keep the front of the core engaged. Good. Inhale long. Go slow. So you can find that proper engagement from the core. Good. It should feel shaky everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, everywhere. Good. Let's go four more. Good. Last three. Good. Let's go two more. On your next one, you're going to hold that bicep curl. Okay, now right from here, those elbows are going to go one inch up and down. So we're going to go one inch up and down. One inch up and down. Now my reformer is not moving at all. If yours is, it's very small. Okay, and I want you to try to make it bigger by changing your body position. Keep that sternum over the pubic bone. Don't lean back. Relax the booty and magnetize those inner thighs. You're here for six, for five, good, you've got four, good, can you pull up that pelvic floor just a little bit more, last two, and let's go one more, and bring it all the way back down, nice, really good, really good, all right, we're going to go tricep on the other side, so hang up that left loop, you've got your right loop, my headrest is still down, I'm all the way over, to the right side of my reformer. Left hand is on the headrest, and my knees are under my hips. So I'm finding a really nice four-point kneel. Kneecaps under hips, belly button up and in, hand on that headrest so that the wrist is under the shoulder. Let's choke up on that right strap and bring that right arm long and low so we already have tension on the rope. From here, keeping the belly button up and in, eyes on the floor so the back of your neck is long, you're gonna inhale that right arm up and back, Exhale, bring it long and low. Right arm up and back. Exhale, long and low. Now, when you reach that arm back down, okay, that wrist is going to come under the shoulder. That's stop. Okay, and then you bring it all the way back up from there. Wrist comes under that shoulder just like your left hand is, and we stop it there. Then we bring it back up. Good, keep that core tight, equal weight on both shins. Good. Keep that belly button pulled nice and tight. Good. Let's go six more here. Good. That right elbow is soft. It's not locked out, but that arm is staying straight. Let's go four. Good. Last three. Good. We got two. We're going to hold it up and back. Good, let's go one more full, all the way up and all the way down. And on your next one, you're going to sweep it up and hold it. So there it is, all the way up there, elbow is high. We're going to bend that elbow in, tighten the core, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend at the elbow only. You should be shaking here. Core is tight, 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 tight. Let's go six. Good. You've got five. We're going to go four. We got this. You got it. Good. Last three. Good. Two more. Keep that elbow up and back. And last one. And bring it all the way down. Woo! So strong. Hang up that loop. All right. We're going to grab that ring again for that torso rotation other side. Yes. And then we're grabbing our box. Okay. So... Staying on that one yellow spring, 
One blue if you need to. Okay, on one yellow spring, I'm around the middle of my carriage. Okay, ring is going to be at that solar plexus, so right at the base of the ribs. I'm taking that long loop and taking it around that outer squishy pad. All right, now, if you've got a blue spring, you're all the way up against these shoulder blocks. Okay, so right from this position, we're going to find that nice alignment. Sternum over pubic bone, okay? We're magnetizing inner thighs, relaxing the booty, okay? Keeping that pelvic floor pulled up and in. All right, let's use our inhale breath. Inhale, rotate from the waist towards the foot bar. Exhale, back to center. So you may find on one side you have more rotation. I have a lot more rotation on my right side, or towards my right, I should say. And it's not a ton more, but you'll feel that range. And it, it really does adjust over time. So the more rotation you do, the more you'll get range of motion. Inhale, exhale, release. So I want you to think about your waist like a bottle cap. Okay, you're rotating and twisting from there. That rib basket spirals on the inhale. Hips don't move. Exhale, back to start. Let's go four more. Good. Three. Good. Two. Good. Last one. And bring it all the way back to start. Now we're going to do that top hat move. So, grabbing that ring between both palms now. Short loop is in my hand for this one. Both squishy pads are between my palms. Staying nice and tall, we're going to lower down into that low kneeling position. That ring comes over my head like a halo. Now, from this hover, belly button still pulled, pulled up and in. Remember, we took that low kneel position by creasing at the hips and sending the sits bones back at a diagonal. Now, from here, we're going to inhale, rise up, extend the arms. Exhale, lower it back down. Good. Now, I'm going to scooch a little closer to my shoulder blocks because I'm not maintaining form when I lift on this side. So, we're going to inhale, come up. That's better. Good. Exhale, back down, hinging at the hips. Now, if you find that you're muscling this through, I want you to make those adjustments. Shift, get closer to the shoulder blocks. Change to your long loop. Okay, those are all options in this movement. I want you to find composure so that you're not yanking the strap up and down. Let's go four more. We're going to add that side bend. Good. Last three. Notice my elbows are not fully extending on this side either. Last two. Good. Last one. Okay, now on this next one, we're going to come up, but we're going to add that side bend. So we're up, side bend to the right, back to center, and down. Good. Up, side bend, back to center, and down. Now for this one, I'm going to come even closer to my shoulder blocks. It's the same thing. I'm over-muscling. So I want you to find that in your body, and over. Let's go four more. Good. We're going to inhale, lift. Exhale, side bend. Whew. Last three. I'm going to switch to my long loop even for this one. Good. Back up. Side bend. There we go. Good. Back down. Let's go two. Good. And let's go last one. Inhale up. And last over. Whew. And bring it back down. So oh, good, guys. All right, hang that up, hang it up. I'm going to grab that box. All right, we got about 15 more minutes. Ooh, I'm going to fall over my box. 15 more minutes. So set that ring down, and let's bring that box onto the carriage. It's going to be short box style. Okay, so up against those shoulder blocks. All right, so from this position, we're going to stay on one yellow. We're going to work on side bending. Now I put my ring down, but I want you to grab your ring back. Okay, I'm going to start facing you guys. So you're going to come onto your box. All right, and you're going to be right knee bent in front of you. 
left foot is going to come under that strap, that foot strap. Okay, so whatever reformer you have, find that foot strap. Now with that foot strap, I want you to work with that left foot horizontal to the platform, or parallel to the platform, okay? So the inner line of my foot is facing down towards the springs. I'm going to lift up out of my left hip. So I'm lifting up into that strap, so my foot is not resting on anything. I'm lifting into the strap. That's going to get me to engage from the top of the hip, which is going to get into my waistline. Let's bring that ring to the solar plexus, and let's start and find a beautiful diagonal, okay? So your best diagonal, all right, from here, from this diagonal, we're going to curl up. So we're going to exhale, curl, engaging that left waistline, and come back to start. Curl, and then come back to your diagonal, reaching the crown of the head far away from that left heel. Curl it up, and bring it back. Stay lifted out of that strap, okay, so that left foot is not resting on anything. My leg is in parallel, so my toes are shining forward. Good, you guys. Nice control here, nice slow movement. Good, let's go four more, because we're going to add a rotation. Good, last three. So my left inner thigh is just scraping that box. Last two. Let's go one more from that diagonal, curling. Good, now on your next one, you're going to hold that diagonal, and now we're going to rotate towards the headrest, and come back to start for the rotation. Let's take the ring between the palms. Okay, we're going to slightly squeeze on that ring, and we're going to rotate towards the headrest, and come back to start. Rotate. Look at the floor, look at the well, and come back to start. Rotating from that diagonal position. I'm not lifting up. I'm staying in that diagonal. Let's go four more. We've got four more right here. Hang on. You've got this. Last three. You should feel that top of the hip. Good, let's go two more. Good, and last one, nice and strong. And come all the way back up. The left hip gets it, right? Left waistline. Okay, we're going to come into back over. So, we are going to take no more strap. I'm going to move my foot bar closer to me because I am super short. So, with your reformer, your foot bar may be in the right position, in that number one position. But mine needs to be straight up and down um, because I'm five foot. So for me, I need to be able to reach that foot bar. Your heels are going to come lightly onto the reformer. Or you can bring your arches of your feet wherever you like to do that. My ring is going to come right to the solar plexus, okay? Now I'm going to start sitting up nice and tall. I've got some room behind me on that box because we're going to do a little roll. Okay, so keeping my knees four inches apart, parallel, sitting up nice and tall, low sitting bones. I'm going to take a nice little lean. So we're going to go back about two inches, hold. Now from here, my tailbone, my low back is going to curl. Now I'm going to get into that mid back. I'm going to hold it right there. And then I'm going to come all the way back up. Okay, I'm going to lean. And now I'm going to curl. Good, rolling through the spine, engaging the front of the core and coming all the way back up to those sitting bones. Hinge, curl, and coming all the way back up. Good, let's go two more. Hinge, curl the tailbone, the low back, pull that belly button up and in. Find that little tremble, come all the way back up. Our next one we're gonna hold in the roll. So we're gonna curl, so we're gonna hinge, we're gonna curl. We're gonna curl that low back and we're gonna hold it right there. Now my right knee is going to lift, I'm going to tap the ring, and I'm going to bring it back. My left knee is going to curl, tap the ring, and bring it back. So it's a little knee pull. It's really small, but what I want you to focus on here is the movement or the lift of the leg coming from the top of the hip. So that psoas muscle, the suspender muscle, that's attached to the top of your femur bone, that is a part of your core, and that's responsible for lifting your leg. So I want you to feel the movement come from that part of your body. You should be trembling right here. Lots of tremble. Okay, embrace that. 
That's good. That's all that connective tissue working in your body. And that's what we're looking for in Pilates. That's what you want to find. Keeping it here. Good. You've got four more. It's a good thing on camera. You can't see my shake so much. Good. Last three. Both sides is one. Good. Last two. Good. Last one. Both sides. Now we're going to do a little rotation. So holding that curl, we're going to rotate to the left from the waistline. Come back through center. Three little pulses up. Three. And now we rotate to the right from the waist. Come back to center. Three, two, one. Back to that roll. Twisting from the waist. Come back to center. Three, two, one. Find that rotation. Come back. Three, two, little pulse. One, back, rotate. Good, come back, little pulse. Three, two, one. Last time to the right. Rotate, come back to center. Three, two, one. Hold it right there. Let's take our right knee up. Good. Let's take our left knee up. Let's get those shins parallel to the floor. Good. Now from this position, can you extend your left leg? Can you fully, whoo, fully extend your right leg? Shaky, shaky, shaky. Hold it here for four, for three, for two, and bring it in. I can always keep those legs bent for that too as well. And bring those feet back down. I side bending on the other side to keep that ring with you. I'm going to be not facing you anymore. So you remember what we did on the first side. Left leg is bent in front of you on that box. Your right foot is going to come underneath that foot strap. And my right foot is parallel with the platform. Okay. Ring is right at the solar plexus base of the ribs. We're going to encircle that ring and we're going to lift up out of that right foot. So right foot into the strap. I'm lifting from the top of the hip. That means my foot or my leg is in parallel. Find your beautiful diagonal, okay? So we're gonna fully open up that right side body. Get nice length right here, okay? Now that's your start position. From here, shoulders are squared. We're gonna curl up and come back to that diagonal. We're gonna curl, lengthen and lift and come back. So it's not just a crunch. You don't want to see crunch. Okay, no. It's a lengthen, grow long, and then curl up from there. And back to start. Recommit to the length, lifting out of that strap, and then curl. Good. Stay here. Lots to think about. Always so many things to think about, but that's why I'm here because I remind you of them the whole time because it's really easy as we focus on one part of the movement to forget about what else is supposed to be happening as well. So that's why I'm here. You've got four more. I forget in my own body too, all the time. Good, last three. Good, two. Good, last one. Good, now find your diagonal. Take that ring between your palms. Light little squeeze on the ring. We're gonna rotate. Rotating on the inhale towards the headrest. Exhale back to start. Rotating from the waist. Rotate, hips stay quiet. Exhale back to start. Now on your rotation, you're gonna feel the top of the hip engage even more. To find that spiral, keeping that right foot in parallel. Good, let's go four more. Light imprinting on the ring. Use those palms to squeeze that ring just a bit. Good, last three. Coming back. Good, last two. And back, one more strong one. Inhale, twist, big rotation. Exhale, back to start. And come all the way in. Whew, that's a sweaty one. Okay. All right, guys, we are going to stretch. So we're going to use that ring to stretch today since we have the ring. So let's take that box down. We no longer need the box. All right. Come all the way down onto your carriage on your back. If you need a sip of water, grab that. I'm still on that one yellow spring. 
If you want a little resistance, we're not going to really um, need to move the carriage much here. So if you're on that blue, that's perfect. Stay right there. If you want to add a blue on, if you're on that yellow, that's fine too. Okay, so bring both feet up to the foot bar. Find that neutral spine position. So the body is tired now. You want to relax. You want to find that breath. But I want you to keep that core engaged. Okay, so even though we're going to be stretching here, I don't want you to forget about what's happening at the center of the body. Tailbone is heavy. Natural curvature in the spine is what we want to hold. Okay, now I'm going to bring my right toes. In. Actually, let's bring both feet into the ring. So bend those legs back in. Okay, and both feet are going to come into the ring to start. So we're going to extend those legs up over the hips. Now remember, in that uh, hinging of the legs, we found our neutral spine, right? And my neutral spine, my legs were a little bit more forward because my tailbone was glued down. Okay, now that's where we're starting here. But I want you to allow your tailbone to peel up a little bit as you bring those legs in towards the chest. So if you can get a lift through the tailbone here, go ahead and take it. You can pull on that ring. I promise you, if you have a Pilates ring, it's not going to snap on you. Okay, I've seen a lot of force against these things, so it'll be fine. And really just press your heels up towards the ceiling, and that's where you get the shake. So if you just kind of let your knees bend, you're not going to find much stretch here. I want you to really let those legs extend fully. Back of the knee opens up, press your heels towards the ceiling, and hold it here for six. Good, I've got obviously a very engaged upper body. You're here for five. Good, last four. Three, let the exhale take you deeper. Last two. Good, roll that tailbone back to the carriage. Now my left foot's gonna come to the foot bar and my ball of my right foot is in that ring. I'm gonna extend my left leg all the way out so I've got a straight left leg. You can keep it bent, whatever feels better. And now same thing, you're gonna pull that right leg in towards the chest, keeping the leg in parallel, not letting it open up yet. You're gonna feel a really big stretch down the back line of that leg, but really embrace it. It doesn't always feel pretty, but I get a ton of shake on this one, which means that connective tissue is really working. So just go ahead and embrace that. Good, hold it here for four. Last three, two, Okay, go ahead and release it just a bit. Keep your right hand on the ring. And now left hand is going to come down to the carriage. You're going to keep your right hip grounded as you let that right leg go out to the side. Okay, so don't let your left hip peel off the carriage. It's going to want to roll up and over. I don't want you to roll over. Okay, so I want you to keep that left hip down. Right inner thigh opens up. You want to think about taking those right toes closer to your ear. Okay, find that stretch through the hip and through that inner thigh. Good, holding it here. Both hips are down. We're here for four. Core is engaged. Last three. Last two. Bringing it back to center. Left hand takes the ring now. My right hand comes down. And now I'm going to take that right leg across the body. And this is my IT band. Okay, so all the way down the outer line of that right leg. This is not, you can let that right hip peel up on this one, so it's, that's okay. You don't have to keep the hip down. I don't want you to see how much pull you can get here. This does not always feel pretty. It doesn't ever feel pretty in my body. I'm a runner. I tend to get a lot of tight tightness through that IT band, so just try to hold it there. Exhale into it to allow your body to release that tension. Good, we're here for four. My last three, last two, good, bringing it back through center, good, bringing that leg back to that right leg's going to come to the foot bar now, my left foot's going to come into the ring, left ball of the foot in the ring, right leg is straight, I'm going to take a nice big pull on that ring to bring that left leg a little closer to the chest, that back of the left knee is open, okay, as much as possible, and your heel is pressing towards the ceiling. And you're going to hold it here and breathe. And you'll find that shake. Find that tremble. Find that shake. Embrace it and hold it for six. For five. Good. Last four. Three. Two. Good. Go ahead and release there. And now, 
my left hand, my left hand is going to hold the ring. I'm going to let that leg open up. So that left inner thigh is going to open up. Once you've got that leg open, the urge to roll out off this right hip will go away. Um, so just get into that position and kind of wiggle that hip back down. Let that left inner thigh open up. Think about taking those left toes closer to your ear. My left arm is really engaged as I pull on that ring. And you're here for four. Last three. Last two. Bringing it back to center. Now I'm going to switch my hands. Right hand's going to take that ring. Left hand to the carriage. And I'm going to pull this leg across the midline. My left hip is invited to lift just a bit. And it hurts. <laughs> it hurts in my body. Good. Hold it there and just feel that stretch. Use your exhale breath to let it go just a little bit. Good. You're here for four. Last three. Two. Good. Bringing it back to center. Bringing that foot back down to the carriage. We're going to bend our knees. Set your ring down to the side. Bend your knees and then bring your knees into your chest. Give them a nice big hug. Rock your low back side to side if that feels good in your body. And you are all set today. So strong. So good. I hope that felt good in your body. I tried to offer as many modifications as I could, but that is definitely an all levels routine. If you have questions for me, you can always leave me comments below the video in YouTube, or you can DM me on Instagram at Just Be Fit, and I'm happy to answer all of your questions. All right, I'll see you guys next time. I'll probably have a little bit more advanced one for you next time. All right, bye-bye.